With all the buzz on the very cool new feature in Tableau 2023.1, that being dynamic access titles, I wanted to show you quickly how you can use Wisdom to do testing on your parameters. So parameters control dynamic access titles and Wisdom has always been able to perform testing on parameters. So let's take a look at how it can do that. I've got a dashboard that I've set up here, very simple one connected to Superstore. And I wanna show you how I have this parameter measure selection set up. So I, if I take a look under allowable values, you can see I have it set up as a list with these numerical values right here, uh, set up to display as profit, sales, shipping cost, and quantity. Okay. And when I go over to my dashboard in Tableau Cloud, um, I've published it here to Tableau Cloud. You can see those measures appear here. And when I click on them, of course, it changes what's displayed in the chart. And then it also changes, thanks to Tableau's new functionality around dynamic access titles, it changes the access title dynamically, depending on what I select in my parameter here. Now, how does Wisdom do testing around these parameters? I've set up a simple functional test here that is going to log into Tableau, open that visualization that I just showed you, this one right here, load it into my Tableau cloud. And then what I'm gonna do is with this task, assert parameter equals check that profit is selected when the viz loads. So you can see that I have this viz set up to have profit selected by default in my parameter. And then I have, uh, a series of set parameter tasks set up where what it's going to do is it's going to reset that parameter to what I have put in this number value uh, field right here. And so you remember that I have the list of number values set to display as what's shown here, profit, sales, shipping, cost, and quantity. So this is associated with that number value one, two, three, and four. So I have it uh, set up here to switch the parameter to two, see if it can do that successfully, and then capture the amount of time that it takes and so on and so forth. So let's take a look at how this works. I'm gonna run this test. And as it's running, Wisdom is opening up my dashboard. It is asserting the parameter is set to the default selection that I had. And then it's also setting the parameter to the second, third, and fourth values that were in there, and then back to, in this last one that's about to run, back to the first uh, value in the parameter. Okay, so my my test has, or my test has succeeded. I'm going to go over to reports and take a look at this one. I can see that all of my uh, tasks in this test passed. And what's cool is I can see, especially on these set parameter tasks, how long it took to select those uh, values in the parameter. So it's 1.8 seconds for the first, 1.4, 1.6, and 1.5. This can be very helpful if you're doing testing around uh, performance of your parameters. So I just wanted to quickly show you how Wisdom can be used to do testing around parameters that control charts. And again, that very cool new feature uh, around dynamic access titles released in 2023.1. Thanks everyone. Thank you.